Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap and my first impressions on Berserk 2017, or you could call it um, Berserk Season 2 in a certain way, uh, or a continuation from Berserk um, 2016 Part 1, you know? That kind of thing. If you guys have been keeping up with Berserk, etc., you guys will know what I'm talking about. Let's start out with episode 1. We have to it that, um, of course, Casca and Guts comes home and seeing Erika, you know, I think that's the little girl's name if I remember correctly. Um, and she ends up telling Guts after t having a couple small talks of a white man with, of a man with silver hair, you know, white hair. And Guts realizes this is Griffith and the moment he sees him with Rickard, he ends up snapping into rage mode, you know. And Rickard tries to stop him and Guts says, tries to tell Rickard that this isn't the same man as you know. And Griffith therefore says him off like, you still haven't changed. You always move your sword before your mouth. I thought I'd just come here to see if my heart is moving or something. But I don't have any feelings at all. Gus becomes super enraged and he tries to slash Griffith. But gets interfered by Nosferatu Zod. And therefore Guts and Zod does fight fight against each other. And of course like um, Guts almost gotten killed but managed to put into a stalemate in a certain way, you know? Before Zod enters his demon form and almost kills Guts in, 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 in the fight towards the end and Casca was interfering and she almost got herself killed but Griffith managed to save her and Guts was pretty upset about that. Zod on the other hand was about to continue the fight but, but was ordered by Griffith to go with him to continue his dream, claim his own kingdom, etc. If you know what I mean. Eventually, you know, Rickard asks Gus to tell him everything of what's happened that day, you know, and it, it really is shocking him because Griffith did tell Rickard, like, once you figure out the truth and you loathe me, I can't hate you for that. I don't blame you. But if you want to continue our dream together, then I have no right to refuse. So I hope to see you soon or later. Of course, when it came to Gus telling everything to Rickard, Rickard was really upset about this and asked Gus to let him accompany him to his journey, you know? Because he doesn't like the fact that Guts had to, like, um, endure or shoulder everything onto his own own mental and physical health. Of course, Guts, on the other hand, tells Ricker he can't come along because he can't hate Griffith, you know? That kind of thing. Of course, the episode ends off with a certain way where, like, um, there's the Kushan Warriors doing some massacre and then Griffith appears right in front of him. But after the credits, there's a post credit scene where Griffith and Casca says their goodbyes and go on a journey where, um, how am I supposed to say it? Puck tells Guts that you should go to my home. That's Elfheim, you know? That kind of thing. Eventually, you know, that goes on to episode two, which I, which like, um, all I can figure out is like, um, mostly the episode was about Serpico's past, really. How he was founded by Farnese and. How he rose to a certain rank and ends up dealing with all her abuse later, you know? And the reason being that, um, Serpico continues to serve by our side is because he has nothing left, you know? Eventually, you know, he does become a certain servant to, like, um, Farnese to try to provide for her mo for his mother. But eventually, his mother becomes a heretic, crazy heretic or something, and then ends up burning her later, you know? That kind of thing. Of course, Guts does struggle against the demons, and he does almost kill Casca one time, and because of the demons ignoring the hell out of him, etc., it's only gonna, like, him cause him more grief and pain. Towards the end of the episode, of course, he almost killed Casca after Casca was almost killed by Guts himself when he got possessed by a demon, you know, when he was protecting Casca. Of course, Casca herself does wander off one time and gotten herself killed, but because she remembers those time, those times with the two of uh, what happened to her in the eclipse, if you guys know what I'm talking about, Casca ends up killing the two men who she was stealing food from, you know? And Guts om almost killed her again, etc. I'm thinking my mind, god dang it, it's hard to watch. And then the ending scene where Farnes, Serpico, and Isidro ends up finding Guts, you know? And Farnes asks guts to like let her accompany him on his journey which i find like um, amusing so overall in episode one and two is just, episode one is just like seeing guts seeing griffith and facing nosferatu zod and telling rickard everything before going on his journey to elfheim where puck says it's a safe place where casca can be episode two is just mostly about serpico's past a bit with farnese you know and how he 
became what he is today, despite Furnace's abuse, physical and mental abuse towards him. You know, that kind of thing. And the end of the episode, of course, like, um, Furnace does catch up with Guts and asks him to let her accompany him and her servant or bodyguard on his journey, to his journey or something. You know, that kind of thing. It's pretty cool here and there, but it is what it is. And of course, in episode 2, Guts almost killed Kasuka, like, two times. One time, he got possessed by the demon, and the second time, um, he literally, like, ugh, don't want to say anymore. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video, so, alright? I'm Alpha Zero. have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out, bye-bye.